This is the trumpet, also known as the bugle, horn, flugelhorn, or cornet. Now this video will provide the top 10 trumpet players of all time. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to examine the top 10 trumpet players of all time. This list could be deemed subjective and I would probably agree with that. But let's have some fun today and look at my list of the top 10 trumpet players of all time. People love Louis Armstrong. Born August 4th, 1901. Died July 6th, 1971. Nicknamed Satchmo, Satch and Pops was an American trumpeter and vocalist. He was among the most influential figures in jazz. His career spanned five decades and several eras of the history of jazz. He received numerous accolades, including a Grammy Award for Best Male Vocalist Performance for Hello Dolly in 1965, as well as a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1972 and induction into the National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame in 2017. Armstrong was born and raised in New Orleans, coming to prominence in the 1920s as an inventive trumpet and cornet player. Armstrong was a foundational influence in jazz, shifting the focus of the music from collective improvisation to solo performance. Around 1922, he followed his mentor, George King Oliver, to Chicago to play in the Creole Jazz Band. He earned a reputation at cutting contests and his fame reached band leader Fletcher Henderson. He moved to New York City where he became a featured and musically influential band soloist and recording artist. By the 1950s, he was a national musical icon, appearing regularly in radio and television broadcasts and on film. His best known songs include What a Wonderful World, Hello Dolly, On the Sunny Side of the Street, Dream a Little Dream of Me, When You're Smiling, and When the Saints Go Marching In. He collaborated with Ella Fitzgerald, producing three records together. With his instantly recognizable rich, gravelly voice, Armstrong was also an influential singer and skillful improviser. He was also skilled at scat singing. By the end of Armstrong's life, his influence had spread to popular music in general. Armstrong was one of the first popular African-American entertainers to cross over to wide popularity with white and international audiences. People loved Dizzy Gillespie. American jazz trumpeter, band leader, composer, educator, and singer. He was a trumpet virtuoso and improviser, building on the style of Roy Eldridge, but adding layers of harmonic and rhythmic complexity previously unheard of in jazz. His combination of musicianship, showmanship, and wit made him a leading popularizer of the new music called bebop. His beret and horn rim spectacles, scat singing, bent horn, puffed cheeks, and light-hearted personality have made him an enduring trumpet icon. People love Miles Davis. American jazz trumpeter, band leader, and composer, he is among the most influential and acclaimed figures in the history of jazz and 20th century music. Davis adopted a variety of musical directions in a roughly five decade career that kept him at the forefront of many major stylistic developments in jazz and trumpet playing. Miles had one of the most iconic trumpet tones in jazz. It was dark and smooth and with almost no vibrato. He also frequently used a Harmon mute, which added to his smoky, subdued style, and he became one of the most iconic trumpet sounds in jazz history. People love Freddie Hubbard. American jazz trumpeter, he played bebop, hard bop, and post bop. His unmistakable and influential tone contributed to new perspectives for modern jazz and bebop. In the world of jazz trumpeters, Freddie Hubbard stands as one of the boldest and most innovative artists. Although influenced by titans like Miles Davis and Clifford Brown, Hubbard ultimately forged his own unique sound, a careful balance of bravado and subtlety that fueled more than 50 solo recordings and countless collaborations with some of the most prominent jazz artists of his era. People love Clifford Brown. Clifford Brown, born October 30th, 1930, died June 26, 1956, was an American jazz trumpeter, pianist, and composer. He died at the age of 25 in a car crash. 
leaving behind four years worth of recordings. His compositions, Sandu and Joy Spring, have become jazz standards. Brown won the Downbeat Magazine Critics Poll for New Star of the Year in 1954. He was inducted into the Downbeat Hall of Fame in 1972. Brown was born into a musical family in Wilmington, Delaware. Around age 10, Brown started playing trumpet at school after becoming fascinated with the shiny trumpet his father owned. At age 13, his father bought him his own trumpet and provided him with private lessons. One of the most notable developments during Brown's period in New York was the formation of Art Blakely's Quintet, which would become the Jazz Messengers. After Brown was interviewed by Downbeat, an article was entitled, Clifford Brown, The New Dizzy. People love Lee Morgan. Born July 10, 1938, died February 19, 1972. American jazz trumpeter and composer, one of the key hard bop musicians of the 1960s and a cornerstone of the Blue Note label. Morgan came to prominence in his late teens, recording with band leaders like John Coltrane, Curtis Fuller, Dizzy Gillespie, and Wayne Shorter, and playing in Art Blakely's Jazz Messengers. Morgan stayed with Blakely until 1961 and started to record as leader in the late 1950s. Morgan's solo recording often alternate between conventional hard bop sessions and more adventurous post bop and avant-garde experiments, many of which did not see release during his lifetime. His composition, The Sidewinder, on the album of the same name, became a surprise crossover hit on the pop and R&B charts in 1964. After a second stint with Blakely's band, Morgan continued to work prolifically as both a leader and a sideman until his death in 1972. People love Chet Baker. American jazz trumpeter and vocalist, he's known for major innovations in cool jazz that led him to be nicknamed the Prince of Cool. Baker earned much attention and critical praise through the 1950s, particularly for albums featuring his trumpet playing and vocals. Chet Baker sings, and it could happen to you. He had some well-documented ups and downs before enjoying a career resurgence in the 1970s and 1980s. Much of Chet's music, especially his ballads, evoke a loneliness or even a pain that some say may describe portions of his difficult life. People love Roy Eldridge. Born January 30th, 1911, died February 26, 1989, nicknamed Little Jazz, was an American jazz trumpeter. His sophisticated use of harmony, including the use of tritone substitutions, his innovative solos exhibiting a departure from the dominant style of jazz trumpet innovator Louis Armstrong, and his strong impact on Dizzy Gillespie, marked him as one of the most influential musicians of the swing era and a precursor of bebop. Roy began playing trumpet and other instruments at an early age, and it was swing era band leader Count Basie that discovered him and called Eldridge the greatest trumpet player I've ever heard in my life. Eldridge moved to New York in November 1930. It was during this time that Eldridge received his nickname, Little Jazz. Eldridge recorded a number of small group sides with singer Billie Holiday. In April 1941, Eldridge joined Gene Krupa's orchestra. After leaving Krupa's band, Eldridge freelanced in New York during 1943 before joining Artie Shaw's band in 1944. Eldridge moved to Paris, France in 1950 while on tour with Benny Goodman before returning to New York in 1951 to lead a band at the Birdland Jazz Club. People love Donald Byrd. Born December 9, 1932, died February 4th, 2013, was an American jazz and rhythm and blues trumpeter and vocalist, a sideman for many other jazz musicians of his generation, Bird was one of the few hard bop musicians who successfully explored funk and soul while remaining a jazz artist. As a band leader, Bird was an influence on the early career of Herbie Hancock and many others. His father was a Methodist minister who greatly valued education and oversaw his son's schooling. His mother introduced Bird to jazz music, and it was her brother who gave Bird his first trumpet. He performed with Lionel Hampton before finishing high school. Bird obtained a bachelor's degree in music from Wayne State University and a master's degree from Manhattan School of Music. While still at the Manhattan School, he joined Art Blakely's Jazz Messengers as Clifford Brown's successor. 
After leaving the Jazz Messengers in 1956, he performed with many leading jazz musicians of the day, including John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, Thelonious Monk, and later Herbie Hancock. People love Woody Shaw. Born December 24, 1944, died May 10, 1989, was an American jazz trumpeter, flugelhornist, cornetist, composer, arranger, band leader, and educator. Shaw is widely known as one of the 20th century most important and influential jazz trumpeters and composers. He's also credited with revolutionizing the technique and harmonic language of modern jazz trumpet playing and is regarded by many as one of the major innovators of the instrument. He was an acclaimed virtuoso, mentor, and spokesperson for jazz and worked and recorded alongside many of the leading musicians of his time. The trumpet players provided in this video are not all the greatest trumpet players. If you've got a trumpet player you think should be on the top 10 list, pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rock on.